Rise and shine, my all dear ones. We are here to punch the clock with our learning session for adding and managing the magenta to promotions with card price rules. Yes, the card price rules which are applied to provide the discounts to your customers for their selected products in the card. These are the discounts which our customers get during checking out like discount coupons, right? So let's fly into the admin panel of the magenta tool and make our way to the card price rule you see here under the marketing section of the promotion option okay just click on this clicking on this will get you to the screen for card price rules here you see you are having the screen of the card price rule from here you have to click this big button you see here right just click on this saying you to add a new rule Clicking on this, you will be welcomed to the screen of new card price rule. Here you go. See? Right? So, from here, a real action starts. Here we see the four main section, dear. Rule information, conditions, actions, labels. Right? We're going to start with our general information. The first thing here we see is the rule name. You know, you want to give the name to your ruler, to your coupon. So that, um, for my instance, we are taking a coupon for 10% off, which will be applied at the time of checkout. Let me jump down for you. Ten percent off. We'll be taking a coupon for 10% off. That's it. Here you go. Next comes the description which can be given if you like example I'm writing a coupon for newsletter. Okay. Next in continuity comes the next option which is status. Uh, here we keep it active okay in order to make our promotions alive for our products. Stepping ahead we have the option for website on which we wish to provide this discount. It is required only if you have more than one website running on the same installation. Okay. We select our main website. Then we are having customer groups. Yes. In this case, we are skipping the wholesale and retailer so that the these are customers, the wholesalers and retailers, they don't get the discount. Okay. In my example, it is meant for all the customers just excluding their wholesale and retailer. I skip them up. Okay. And your case you can select them all or whatever your department calls. Okay. Next comes coupon. This is coupon. Well if you are in need to apply the discount you see here the two options. So if you need to apply the discounts without even the requirement of a using coupon, we need to select this no coupon. Otherwise, as in most of the cases, if we need to apply only when someone uses this coupon, we'll be selecting this specific coupon. And in our instance, we are selecting specific coupon. Here you see. Then we are having the next thing called as coupon code, which is accompanied with this use of auto generation well auto generation is normally used when you wish to generate the multiple pin codes to distribute through some channel like a deal website in most cases the coupon code is manually entered and here i'm specifying my coupon as new year 10 person of 10 Coupon code New Year 10% off. Base. Okay. New Year 10% off. After that, you'll be watching up on the next option. This, will, this option calls for uses per coupon. This defines the limit of your coupon usage, that is how many number of times a single coupon can be used. For example, I set it for like 500. Okay. Now, it will cease to work as soon as it is used 500 times. Okay. Then, we are having in continuity the users per customer. 
This option defines the limit of the customers that how many times a single customer can use this coupon, especially for the logged in one here. You can see there. It's jotted down there also, okay? So this is especially for the logged in customers, which is uh, taken as one for instance. Here, okay. Next two options we are having is fro and to. Now they are used to define the duration of your promotion, which I'm taking in my instance as 9th of January, I want to my promotion to get deactive by 16. Okay. So um, select your dates as per your requirement. Then last ending options, we are having priority, which prioritize our promotion codes, giving the lower number the highest priority. Or, you know, in case more than one coupon is applied for a single product, but my my instance, we don't have uh, multiple options running for our uh, coupons, so we are just keeping it black. Okay. Then we are having this public and RSS feed. So this are having two options: yes or no. If you want to show the coupon in RSS feed, just like yes. Okay. Scrolling above, we are having the advanced options, this conditions, action, and labels you see here, right? But this I shall discussing in detail in my next video. <laughs> Do feel free to contact us if you have peculiar requirement and you are not getting able to set up in your Magento store. Leave a message below and contact me at magento at the rate of metritech.net. Let your Magento store add more to your magnetic power to allure the customers with our easy Magento help. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Take care.